briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard Meyerhofer v. Empire Fire and Marine Insurance in 1974, a case centered around the idea that lawyers cannot reveal confidential information obtained from clients and may face disqualification for ethical violations. In the early 1970s, Empire Fire and Marine Insurance Company made a public offering of 500,000 shares of its stock. However, Dietrich Meyerhofer and Herbert Fetterman, claiming that Empire's stock price declined due to the company not disclosing its proposed $200,000 payment to Sidemer Law Firm in its SEC registration statement, sued the company. The plaintiffs were represented by Bernson, Honegger, Freitag, and Abbey. Attorney Stuart Charles Goldberg, however, presented information about the concealed finder's fee arrangement to the SEC and plaintiffs' counsel. The district court dismissed the complaint without prejudice and disqualified plaintiffs' counsel while also barring Goldberg from future actions. The plaintiffs, along with their counsel and Goldberg, appealed the decision. The court ruled that there was no basis to disqualify the plaintiffs or dismiss the complaint. They found that the Bernson firm did not violate the Code of Professional Responsibility so the court reversed the disqualification order. However, the court affirmed Goldberg's prohibition from being a party or attorney and from disclosing information except during discovery or trial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.